on it, I'm back filming properly again, there will be no more breaks, and it's all going very, very well. It's dinner time, so tonight, I'm cooking, Christina is working. By the way, she's doing amazingly. She's lost loads of weight. She's looking nice and skinny. So between us, I think we've done nearly three stone this year. It's 20 past seven, which means I better start thinking about food. But tonight, I have had all my healthy option A's today and my healthy B's. We're having mushrooms, spaghetti, chicken, in a Maggie paper and some goat's cheese. So I'm gonna to have to sing the goat's cheese because obviously I've had my healthy option A already. Today I've had a couple of other sins. I've had an Alpen bar for about three and a half sins. What else did I have? Ah, oh, my mum. My mum bought some miniature heroes. I had two of them. I don't even wanna look at what the sins are. I better have a look. Double Decker miniature heroes calories. I'll get away. It's about six and a half cents. So thanks, Mum. Thanks a lot for letting me eat all them because basically it weren't one double decker, it weren't two double deckers. There was also a fudge involved. So I've had three of them, so that's six and a half sins. First thing this morning, I went out for a walk and I've just got back home from going to the shops, 10,082, which is just under five miles and 700 calories. So in actual fact, I've, I've worked them chocolates off anyway, so <laughs> whatever. I mentioned in last week's video, we get these new scales delivered tomorrow. So I'll actually do a weigh-in tomorrow and then you can actually see what we're starting this week off with with regards to um, weight. If I consistently lose three pounds every week, I am, I am over the moon with that. You know, I mean, in four, another four weeks, that's almost another stone and then I'm pretty much, I'm pretty much there. And uh, yeah, it's the best I've ever done. Best start I've ever done on Slimming World. So anyway, I'm not going to keep banging on because, you know, it's boring. I better crack on with this dinner. Okay, okay. Right, it's Friday. It's lunchtime. I've got nothing, but I'm going to smash together something I've never tried before, which is homemade Rosties. Rosties? If you don't know what Rosties are, you know what Rosties are. But basically, I've got one potato and some onion and some garlic, and I've looked up online how to do it, and it seems pretty straightforward. These are basically are sin free because I'm going to do them in fry light. So let's just crack on with that, see how they turn out. Probably a disaster, no with me. No sign of the new scales currently. Let's crack on with the old Rosties. I have never done Rosties in my entire life. Seen them online all the time, look lovely. Basically, it looks like you just use this part. Oh, what part is it? No. You use this part. Oh, I'm gonna put my teeth on edge. I can't see how this is gonna work. Oh my god, it's working. Ah, oh no. Oh, for God's sake. Is that it? Nah. Maybe you have to use this side. That can't be right. Let's start again. Right, here we go. Oh my god, my eyes. I don't know if you're supposed to take the skin off or not, but... Yeah, that's what it's supposed to look like, bruv. Apparently what you're supposed to do here, which sounds mental, mix it all together. Apparently you're supposed to put it in a tea towel. Put it in the tea towel. This is more trouble than it's worth. You can buy these from the shop for about £2.30. You're just supposed to squeeze it and it all comes... Oh my god, it's happening. Oh my god, what is that? Look at that! Oh my god. And then you're left with a bowl exactly like that. I can't believe that. Oh, heat a pan. Fry that. Squeeze it down. Apparently it just goes on like that. That'll do. I don't know if you can tell, but it is smoky as anything in here. I burnt them. They just don't seem cooked in the middle. What an absolute disaster. Uh, I'm done with it. All right, this is what we're dealing with. Let's give them a little go. I'm disappointed with that, to be honest. Anyway, that's me lunch. The only benefit there is it's sin free, so. I'm so disappointed in them. I've thrown them away. Absolutely disgusting. Never doing them again in my entire life. I worked out what that disgusting taste was. Basically raw potato. Oh, it's just making me heave thinking about it. Imagine peeling a potato. I didn't even peel them. Imagine peeling a potato and then just eating it. 
That's what it tasted like, disgusting. If anyone actually has any decent advice, can you put it in the comments below and let me know what I've done wrong there? And I've ruined a perfectly good tea towel. Anyway, uh, hopefully dinner's better. Oh my God, I've just realized what we've got for dinner. I've got a jacket potato. It's Wednesday, but things are going well. With these new scales, and uh, it's all done via the app, so I mean, I can kind of do the weigh-ins, but it'll be better for me on weigh-in day, which is tomorrow, to just kind of run you through, because it shows every time I've weighed myself, and I can actually talk you through each one of them. So I have been weighing myself each day, just to see where we're going, because it's so specific, it's like, I don't know, 18.1.6 pounds or whatever, so, We'll go through all that tomorrow, but I've been so good all week. Yeah, I've got nothing really to say to you, other than I've, I've been really good. My goal this week is to literally get into the 17s. All right, it's not quite dinner time, but I've been out. Look at the steps that I've done today. I've just gone out after work and I've smashed another 7,000. What is that? 8.32 miles for 1,000 calories. Ho, ho, ho! Go on, boy. You know, I don't lose weight tomorrow. I'm getting a Domino's. It's Thursday. What a week. Right, so it's gonna be a slightly different setup to this weigh-in situation. Now I've got these new scales. I can't really do a live one. So what it does is it sends it to my phone and there's no getting away from it because it time stamps it, it date stamps it, it does it to the absolute pound. I'm gonna mirror my phone screen onto the screen around here somewhere and then we'll just talk through it. Let me move over. Let's put my phone on the screen here, so, right, there's my, there's, my, there's my phone. This is what I'm looking at, right? So, starting on the left-hand side, on the second, well, it's done in American dates, annoyingly. Second of the 5th is obviously February the 5th. So, February the 5th, which is uh, a week ago. Oh, <coughs> excuse me. February the 5th, a week ago, I weighed 18 stone 2. Don't worry about the point, because there's just no point in talking about points. <laughs> 18 stone 2 is what I weighed. Now, the unbelievable, most fantastic thing on the... That was on the Friday. On the Saturday, I weighed myself, and I'd actually somehow managed to lose 6 pounds in one day. I was all the way down to 17.10, which made me want to uh, go out, uh, not go out, obviously, because we're in lockdown, but maybe we, basically we got a takeaway and we drank loads of alcohol. The following day, <laughs> I weighed myself and I'd somehow managed to put half a stone back on in the, in the space of one day, half a stone. So uh, I started Monday, no, that was Sunday, and I started basically devastated and depressed. Now, as you can see, over the next few days, that one is uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and now Thursday, where we are now. I'm down to 17 stone 12. <laughs> I am in the 17s. Oh my God. Five weeks ago, or four and a half, five weeks ago, I was nearly, tw I was two pounds off of 20 stone. I'm now in the 17s. I'm absolutely smashing this. That basically means, I have lost officially two stone in basically just over a month. Unbelievable. I just, I can't believe what the kind of numbers I'm pulling out here. What does that mean? First things first, two stone, 28 pounds. If you're from the Euro, 12.7 kilos that I have lost off my body. I'm obviously over the moon. Where am I with regards to getting to this three stone goal? Let's have a look, shall we? I'm gonna round it up. I'm 67% of my way to my freestone goal. Anyway, that's all I've got to say. Sorry for boring you, but I've, I've, I really feel like I'm working hard here, and I finally feel like it's, uh, you know, showing. So, that's everything for this week's video. Thanks for coming back, thanks for watching. Um, if you're new to the channel and you, all that rubbish, thanks and press subscribe, and let's see what I do next week. Next week um, is gonna be week five, pretty sure. Yeah, I think this is week four, so next week will be week five and then we'll see how we get on. The goal is not to sit there and like fit into all these clothes and go, I'll tell you what, let's get a Domino's because that could happen. <laughs> anyway, that's that and I'll see you next week's video. Goodbye.